Dan, Geo Kingsbury supply the range of Hermely machines into the uh, UK market. We're at Norgen Precision Engineering. The, yep. These guys here have bought or invested a lot of money in Hermley's technology over recent years, haven't they? Just tell us what machines that they've, they've got here in, uh, in the company. Right, so they've got um, two C40 machines um, and a C20 machine. These are sort of the legacy machines. So um, since these machines were have now been replaced with the C22, C32, C42, which is the new range. And, and they're, 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 the five, they're five axis machines, but they're the high performance line, is that right? All five axis machines, yeah, and they're, they're now classed as the high performance line machine, yeah. Right, now the, the latest purchases they've made here, in the background here, we've got the C250 and the C400. Yeah. Tell us about those machines, why they were introduced, and what the differences are between those and the, the other ones you mentioned. Yeah, so these were introduced a few years ago now, um, and I think the aim is to try and make a machine which is um, more standardized um, so they can become more competitive on price. So for engineers that maybe have thought before that, that, that the Hermely brand as a, as a quality machine might be out of their reign, out of their league, are we, am I sensing here then that these machines uh, could maybe solve that as a, as, a, as, a, as a problem? Yeah, I think we've bridged the gap. Because uh, the, the specification is so streamlined now, um, we're making, making, selling a lot of the same style machine, which again, obviously, because of um, economy of scale. And can... is there any difference between the C250 and say the C22 in the way it's made, the way it's built? Ha has Norgen experienced any, any differences between the machines? No, I'm sure if you ask them, um, they'll tell you that the, the actual parts that are coming off the machine are no different from the performance line to the high performance line. What are we talking about here then when it comes to size on the 250 machine? Um, Dan and the 400 as in the, the working envelopes. So C250 is the smallest machine in the performance range. Um, it probably works out similar to a C22 on the high performance range. So you're looking at uh, 600 in the X, 450 in the Y and 350 in the Z. And then on the 400? And on the 400 you're looking at 800 in the X by 750 in the Y by 500 in the Z. I also know there's a bigger machine, there's the 600 as well, I think it is, isn't it? The 650, yep. So. so there's a 650, so for people that look an even more working envelope, yeah. the 650 is an option. And when you compared that to like the C, is that the same as this, what used to be the C52 or the C? Yeah, if you put it, it's, pretty, it's on par with the C52 work, workspace wise, yeah. So. Okay, now these guys, as I said already, they've invested a lot of money in your technology. Is yeah. this going to be a game changer for Geo Kingsbury, having this, this performance line, these C400s, the C650 and the C250 in your toolbox to go and sell uh, to companies that, that are maybe looking at a, a lower cost five axis machine? Yeah, I mean, it already has. We've, uh, we've sold these machines into um, smaller subcontract companies now because of the competitive price. You know, we're on par with uh, the, the competitors. And then very quickly, what would this come with if I looked at that 250 there? Would we have like a 15K spindle, an 18K spindle, 30 yeah. tools? So, as standard, you can only have it with a hind hind control. Um, you are, you've got two options on the spindle, 15,000 and 18,000. Um, what the good thing is, you can actually have it integrated with a HS Flex automation system still. So, although it's... Uh, uh, performance line machine it's still available with automation and is that automation to feed the parts or to uh, add more tools into the machine um, so with the HS flex that's uh, to feed the parts to feed pallets into the machine um, but it was also available with an extended magazine for additional tools I would expect looking at a Hermley machine that I'm hazarding a guess it probably comes with things like linear scales doesn't it as standard yep certainly does within both both series and then I'm assuming again, full five axis simultaneous machining? Full five axis, yeah. Um, you, it's possible to get a, a Hermley with a rigid table um, or a fourth axis, but the majority of the time um, people go for the five axis. And you are carrying these machines in stock, aren't you, here in, uh, in Portsmouth or in, in Gosport? You can have uh, one of these delivered pretty quickly. Uh, we've said already a very competitive price. I'd say because we're selling these quite often now, um, we've often got c250 or c400 in our showroom and there's two patented features on all of these machines which i'd, I'd like you to touch on finally for this video tell yeah. us about the tool the t, uh, the uh, the z-axis and also the the structure gantry. so yeah the modified gantry is hermley standard design across all the machines so 
It has the, the Y-axis support along the whole working area. Um, and it also has another set of rails at the back which prevent the machine from crabbing as it moves forward in Y. So a more stable structure? More stable, more rigid structure, yeah. And then tell us about this Z-axis one where you've got these cushions. Yeah. So the Z-axis, um, the spindles up to 18,000 spindle with a HSK63, um, all the spindles come as a two-piece spindle. So in between the two-piece spindle, you have a series of uh, sacrificial aluminium bushes. So in the event of a Z-axis collision, these will uh, compress and then put the machine into an e-stop before damaging anything in the spindle. So a couple of unique features, and it looks like now engineers can invest in a, in a Hermely machine for maybe less money than what they would have done before and still get a, uh, an incredibly stable and precision machine tool. Certainly can, yeah.